Does anyone else out there remember the Animaniacs? Yakko and Wacko and Dot? Uh, it's a great show, and at the end of it, they would have the Wheel of Morality. It's time to learn the moral of today's story. Hey, come on! The Wheel of Morality adds boring educational value to what would otherwise be an almost entirely entertaining program. Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Moral number two. And the moral of today's story is... If at first you don't succeed, blame it on your parents. See, the joke was that in their cartoons, they didn't shoehorn in any moral lesson at all. They didn't bother trying to teach kids to sit up straight and mind their manners and share their toys. Uh, it was just fun, and that was great when I was a kid. Uh, I loved shows like that. It was because even as a kid, I knew how condescending that kind of thing was. And in our current age of political correctness, it's only gotten worse. Because the kind of moral lesson that they want to teach in today's world is that the key to happiness is belief in oneself, free from the obligation to adhere to some unattainable standard of perfection. Uh, that's going to be the moral lesson in the live-action Barbie movie they're going to make. And, of course, who did they cast to deliver this message to the youth? Amy Schumer. I read the headline that Amy Schumer was going to star in a live-action Barbie movie, and I thought it was a joke. But it's not. They're really doing this. It's unbelievable. This has got to be one of the stupidest casting decisions in a movie I have ever seen. You know what makes it stupid? Because it is so obviously stupid. There are so many other obvious choices for Barbie. We're a little closer to the target demographic than I am. If you were to cast an actress for the live-action Barbie movie, who would you cast? I would cast Taylor Swift. Now, I didn't tell her to say that. I, I did for the camera, naturally. But we actually had that conversation. Right after I read the article, I asked her, who should play Barbie? Taylor Swift, immediate answer. And that was who I thought of while I was reading the article. And admittedly, Taylor Swift is a pretty high-priced celebrity. She might not be available, but uh, you can't tell me that there's not some pop star that young girls will recognize that they want to see in the movie, or some TV star who's, who's young and pretty or whoever. Uh, why not cast that person? Whoever, there's, there could, there'd be a list of names that you could pick from, I'm sure. Why not cast someone like that? Why cast Amy Schumer? It's obvious that they are casting her in order to prove that they don't have to cast a Barbie actress as Barbie. It is a deliberate miscasting of the role. People who are complaining about it are... The backlash against that is that they shouldn't fat shame Amy Schumer. It's not about fat shaming. These were some of my favorite toys growing up. I love the He-Man figures. I spent all kinds of time setting them on adventures in my imagination. Now, I want you to imagine that you heard about a new live-action He-Man movie coming out. And cast in the role of He-Man? Jonah Hill. Uh, and I can, I can hear people try to, try to explain it. You know, wh why? Why should He-Man have to be some rugged, muscular action hero type? Why can't Jonah Hill be He-Man? Think anyone would buy that? And, and if the lesson inherent in the He-Man movie w w is that violence is wrong, and by the end of it, He-Man sets down his sword and learns that aggression is not the best way to handle his problems, that would be just about the lamest movie of all time. And what I said before about the moral message of the movie, I didn't make that up. I read that in a couple different articles about it. I, I couldn't expend too much of my brain power memorizing all this. I had to write this down. By the time she returns to Barbie Land to save it, she has gained the realization that perfection comes on the inside, not the outside, and that the key to happiness is belief in oneself, free of the obligation to adhere to some unattainable standard of perfection. So, this is a movie designed to explain to Barbie fans everything that is wrong with Barbie. <laughs> What a, what a miserable thing to do. If you're going to make a movie for Barbie fans, how about you make it for the Barbie fans? How about you cast someone appropriate for the role and make the movie about pink transams and mansions and, and being the world's most powerful female executive, whatever it happens to be. But don't give me this uh, Amy Schumer is the imperfect Barbie who gets kicked out of Barbie land crap. 
If you're going to make a Barbie movie, then that's what you should make. You should make it for people who love Barbie, not for your own purposes. Because if you're going to cast someone as Barbie, you want an actress who fits the role. Does Amy Schumer fit the role? No, people are immediately just found that jarring. Is that the way you market the movie? With an actress that most young kids have never heard of and don't identify with? No. For the same reason, just for purely greedy marketing reasons, you still want Taylor Swift or the pop star like that. Because they didn't cast someone like that, it's pretty clear that they are more concerned with the message that they're trying to get across than with making the movie that the fans want. Well, I would say that they are not concerned with making the movie the fans deserve. If you're a fan of Barbie, you want the best Barbie movie they can make, made for you as a fan. They're not doing that. And that's a really rotten thing to do. And I don't have any problem with the concept of the movie, really. If Amy Schumer wants to make that movie, that's fine. Just don't make it a Barbie movie. It almost sounds like an intriguing idea, a world of living dolls and the imperfect character doesn't want to fit in and resists their society. It almost sounds familiar somehow, like I've heard about it somewhere before. It's because you wrote it! Oh yeah. About three years ago, I made available on Kindle an ebook called Porcelain Society. It has real similar themes to this movie they want to make. It is set in a world of living dolls. And those dolls raise little girls, flesh and blood girls. The idea is that the dolls have the girls instead of the other way around. And the dolls naturally want their little girls to be perfect little ladies. They teach them how to walk and how to talk and how to think. And the main character decides she doesn't want to learn these things and she resists. The more she resists, the harder it gets and the more sinister she decides the dolls really are. Uh, and I'll be honest, this is not a story written for kids. It's written with adults in mind, even though the main character is a child. Uh, and it's not a happy story at all. It's a very dark story. And it's not a hip and cool story with feminist themes. It won't have any message about body positivity or anything like that. There will be a link in the description of the video that will take you to the product page so you can check it out if you are interested. Thank you for watching, and thank you a thousand times if you actually buy one of my books. That sword pops out of his hand real easy. You'd think he might have a better grip.